Decision 2020 still isn't over. Today, a key part of the process of electing the president and the vice president. This happened in state capitals all over the U.S., including in Albany, as presidential electors met to officially cast their state's votes. Now, this is sort of ceremonial, and we often don't pay too much attention to it. But considering President Trump hasn't conceded the race to President-elect Biden, people are keeping a very close eye on the electors. Yeah, and that prompted a viewer named Carl to send us the following. He asked, Michael, answer this one for us. Who picks these electors? I certainly didn't see them on my ballot. He also asked which state electors have ties to Western New York. And we will start there, Carl. These are New York State's electors. There's 29 of them. We get 29 votes as a state because we have 27 members of the U.S. House plus two senators. As far as those best known here locally, you have Bill and Hillary Clinton plus Governor Cuomo, Lieutenant Governor Hochul, Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown and State Assembly Majority Leader Crystal People Stokes. She was actually a substitution. Yeah, other familiar names that you can see bolded on that list include State Attorney General Letitia James, the State Comptroller Tom DiNapoli, Assembly Speaker Carl Hasty, Senate Majority Leader Andrea Stewart Cousins, and the State Democratic Party Chair Jay Jacobs. So back to Carl's first question who picked these people? Well, you're right, they were not on your ballot in November. The parties actually each get to pick their own slates of electors. Democrats pick 29, Republicans pick 29, and so on. And then when you vote on election day, you're actually voting for those 29 people. Whichever ticket wins the state's popular vote, in this case, Biden-Harris, gets that slate of electors to cast our state's 29 votes. So since the state Democratic Party picked New York's 29 electors, it will come as no surprise that when all of the votes were counted today in Albany, it was a unanimous decision. Yeah, even after today's votes in all 50 states plus D.C., though, there are still a couple of more steps in the process. Right. The states now send their results to Congress and the House and the Senate will meet in a joint session on January 6th to count all the state results. Yeah, that's where some Republicans say they'll object to the electors from several swing states that um, didn't vote for President Trump and, and they're claiming that there was uh, there were problems places like Georgia, Pennsylvania. But that effort is likely to fail and Joe Biden will be sworn in as president on January 20th.